Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using tab stops in Word lets you create an organized list in a Word document. For example, suppose you had to create a document that lists the names of the people in your company and also in which department they work. In this case, it may be helpful to create a document that contains two columns of information. You can create one column for the names of the people and another for the names of the departments. Using tab stops in Word lets you easily accomplish this type of task. While it is more common to insert tab stops into a document before writing the lines of text, you can also insert tab stops in Word after writing text. Tab stops can also change from paragraph to paragraph within a single document. Each paragraph, which may be no longer than a single line of text, can have its own unique set of tab stops. So in summary, you don't need to place tab stops in a strictly uniform way throughout your entire document. Before adding tab stops to a paragraph in your document, ensure that you enable the ruler. When using the print layout view of a Word document, you can do this by clicking the View tab in the ribbon. Then check the ruler checkbox in the Show button group. After enabling the ruler, you can then see the tab stop toggle button appear at the far left end of the horizontal ruler. It is called a toggle button because when you click the button, you toggle it between the various types of tabs available. The different types of tabs available are left, center, right, decimal, and bar. To insert a tab stop, click into the paragraph where you will type the text. Alternatively, select existing lines of text to which to add tab stops. Then click the tab stop button in the horizontal ruler until its face displays the type of tab stop to insert. To learn which tab stop type is currently selected, Hold your mouse pointer over this button to see a screen tip that shows the name of the tab stop type currently selected. If you click the button to change the tab stop type, move your cursor away and then back over the button again to display the name of the newly selected tab stop type. After selecting the type of tab stop to add, then click into the horizontal ruler at the position at which to place the tab stop of the currently selected type. The type of tab stop you insert changes the way text aligns itself after a user presses the tab key on the keyboard to arrive at the tab stop and then types some text. Left tabs left align the adjacent text. Right tabs right align the adjacent text. Center tabs center align the adjacent text. And decimal tabs align adjacent numbers you type by their decimal points. Unlike the other tabs, the bar tab, which is often used in conjunction with the other tabs, simply draws a vertical bar wherever you position it within the ruler. When a user presses the tab key on the keyboard to move to the next tab stop, the bar tab simply adds a vertical line at the ruler location where it is placed as the tab characters pass it by. The bar tab does not affect the alignment of text or act as a tab stop. It is purely for aesthetics. It helps you to easily draw lines for columns of information arranged by the other types of tab stops. To remove a tab stop from text, click into the paragraph to change. Alternatively, select the paragraphs that have the same tab stops to change. If the tab stops appear grayed out or faded within the horizontal ruler, that means that you have selected paragraphs with mismatching tab stops and should reselect the text again to ensure that you only select text that contain the same types of tab stops. Next, click and drag the tab stop to remove from the horizontal ruler and drop it into the document area to remove it. You can reposition tab stops you added to the horizontal ruler by simply clicking and dragging the small black icons of the tab stops in the ruler to a new ruler location.
If you set tab stops for a paragraph, then when you press the Enter key on your keyboard to create a new paragraph, the tab stops from the previous paragraph continue for the next paragraph. If you no longer want to have the same tab stops, you must then remove them from the new paragraph. After placing your tab stops in a new paragraph, press the tab key on your keyboard to indent the line to the tab stop that you inserted. Any text you then type aligns itself to the tab stop using the alignment of the associated tab stop type. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.